Good morning and welcome to take 10 for this week. Um, in respect of the International Day of Friendship, which is coming up on the 30th of July, I thought I would speak on the topic of how to be a people helper. And I have taken a few of my thoughts from uh, Gary Collins' book by the same title, which I really enjoyed reading and would highly recommend. Why is it important for us to be people helpers, to learn how to be a good people helper? Well, the reality is it's uh, family members and friends who are truly at the front line of stresses and challenges, doubts and dilemmas that face all of us. Few of us go through life uh, with the training and techniques of a mental health uh, professional at our fingertips. Whilst we might find ourselves in need of such services, it is our peers who so often support uh, and encourage us and walk alongside us in times of crisis. We may not readily recognise it, but it's such care and support from friends and family that often keeps us from reaching tipping point. So being a people helper, or as Collins uses the term, a peer counsellor, it's not about training or techniques, though that may help. To be an effective people helper, we need to know ourselves well. To know our own strengths and our shortcomings. To have a clear understanding of our attitudes, our motives and our expectations. Our motivation should never be what we can gain, but wholly about the well-being of another. Character traits such as honesty and integrity are important. We must be people who are trustworthy, compassionate, patient and kind. The Dalai Lama once said, if you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. The skill of listening is a vital element because it helps to build rapport and promote trust in a relationship. The ability to listen patiently and not rush to speak. The willingness to embrace silence offers the other person space to think and to process. Greek philosopher Epictetus once said, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Effective listening requires us to look beyond mere words. Effective listening lets go of preconceived ideas. Effective listening never casts judgment. Being a people helper may, on occasion, take the form of practical support, but it is not about fixing people. It's not simply a matter of giving answers and finding solutions. A good people helper promotes confidence and character development in others, enabling them to discover inner strength and resolve and to explore their own solutions and strategies. People helpers are encouragers, not only when chaos or crisis strike, but by nature, encouraging both friends and strangers. People helpers are proactive, often being there and offering support before others even recognize their needs. 
Gary Collins says this, the encouragement and prayerful support of another human being can be a valuable sustaining influence to help people face the future, try new ventures, change behavior, or otherwise deal with problems before they get worse. At its best, being a helper is about walking alongside others in such a way as to help steer people from danger and to prevent struggles from escalating into full-blown crises. We might not see ourselves in a people-helping role, and yet without realising it, many of us do this all the time. It's simply called friendship. Maybe you know someone right now, a family member, a friend, a fellow student or colleague, who may need your help this week. Your practical support, your listening ear, your smile, your friendship, your silent acceptance of who they are. May you know wisdom and compassion as you reach out to them this week. Take care.